All right, how's it going everyone? So I have a beginner level React challenge and that is going to be building on a whack-a-mole game. Um, basically we have a three by three grid where these moles will pop up for just a short amount of time and then they hide. And the goal is can you as a user, can you click these moles before they hide like this? And if you do click them, your score increments. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So it looks pretty simple from just looking at it. Uh, but I would recommend that if you're a beginner, just try doing this yourself. I think you may stress your knowledge with React and effects and timeouts and intervals. It's a really good challenge. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I went ahead and used Dolly 3 to generate some images. So over here, we have a whack-a-mole hole here, and we have a mole that we're going to go ahead and just insert when it pops up. All right, so we have our main app here. The first thing I want to try doing is can I display... Um, like maybe like a three by three grid of moles, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this image. Um, and I will go ahead and import this. I do believe I have to import it like this. I'll say like whole is equal to import from assets whole. And then we'll also do the same thing with mole. Um, because we're using like Vite, I think this can just import the files directly and they'll kind of bundle it. But if not, you probably need to put them in your public assets and just import them with normal script tags. But let's see, does this display a hole? And it does. So we need to get nine of them. So go ahead and paste that in nine times and we have nine holes. Now I want to lay this out in a three by three grid. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a class here called grid. And uh, we're going to go to our app.css, which is actually imported at the top of this file here. And we're going to just go ahead and say grid. And then with CSS grid, you can say grid template columns. You say repeat. And I think you start with how many you want. And then you define like what you want the sizes of those grids to be. And uh, let's see if that works. Nope. Okay. I think you also have to say display grid. Okay. I haven't done like CSS in a while. Cool. So this will work. I think it's just going to expand the grids to be the size of your actual screen. So if you know the width of this image, which we can go here, it's 256 by 164. So if I just make the entire grid a width of 256 times three, which is what? Uh, should be 678 pixels, okay. All right, so now we got a three by three grid. Now we could probably center it on the screen if we wanted to. We could say margin zero auto, there we go. All right, that's probably good enough. So now, the fun part, let's go to React. And what we wanna do is we wanna randomly pick one of these holes and we wanna change it to be a mole, right? And we're gonna give the user a certain amount of time where they have to click on this in order to get a point for whacking the mole, okay? So in React, if you wanna change something on the page, you probably wanna be using some type of state. So I'm gonna go ahead and say like holes and set holes is equal to use state of an array. And I think we could just maybe store booleans in these. So like we'll have an array of booleans. Um, I'll just do that. Go ahead and auto import this. And if it's false, we're going to go ahead and just pretend like there's a hole. And if it's true, there will be a mole. So actually, I'm going to rename this to moles and set moles. Now, for the initial state of this, what we could do is we could say new array. We want to have nine holes. I'm going to fill them all with false. Okay, so now we got this, this array. And we can use this array to dynamically show all these images, right? So instead of doing this, this all this stuff down here, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. We can actually say moles.map. And we're going to say is mole and we're going to return that image okay so if we look at the page you'll see the holes um now i want to actually dynamically change the image depending on if this is set to true or false right so i'm going to go ahead and do a ternary i'll say if mole question mark and then we'll say mole otherwise we'll do a colon we'll say hole okay it's pretty pretty straightforward now if i change all these to true you'll see that all the moles will pop up all right so now let's Let's start building the game. So what we want to do is every second, let's just randomly pick a spot and we're going to change that array from being false to true. Okay, so how do we make something happen every second on this React application? Well, you probably want to use an effect. Okay, so when this component mounts, we want to set up some initialization stuff to maybe set an interval. So let's say const interval is equal to set interval. And we're gonna go ahead and call some code every second. So every second, we're gonna do something here. Now, remember in React, in your effect, when you clean up, you wanna go ahead and say clear interval if you wanna have proper React, okay? 
So make sure we do that. Now, every second, we want to get a random spot in this array. And we want to set it to true. So how do we get a random spot? Well, you could say const random index is equal to math.floor, math.random, times the length of how many slots we have. So I'll say moles.length. And that is a trick that you'll learn when you're doing making games and stuff. Basically, it just finds a random number between 0 and 9. It floors it so it's a proper index. So now what we want to do is using that random index, we want to kind of create a new array that's going to have true on the spot where we just got that random index, right? So I'm going to say new moles is equal to, I'm going to spread the old moles. And then I'm going to say new moles, random index is equal to true. Okay. Now let's save this and let's make sure this actually works. Oh, if, finally, I need to actually say set moles and I'll say set it equal to this new array. Okay. Now you could do this with like a set moles and pass it a callback and do like a map and then check the index. And if the index matches, you can set it to true and false. This way works as well. <coughs> and it's perfectly fine. Assuming you don't have like deeply nested objects. So I'm going to save this. And now we wait a second and you should see some moles start popping up. Okay. But now there's an issue, right? If you are familiar with React and how effects work, the effect is basically operating on a closure, right? So the moles is going to be an old array value. And I would expect this to keep adding more moles to the screen, but it's not. Okay. So we have to go here and we have to say moles so that the effect will kind of reinitialize with this interval every time this moles array changes. Okay, go ahead and refresh the page. Now this is what I would kind of expect. Okay, you, you'll kind of learn that with use effect where you have to pass the thing in state in the dependency array if you want this to properly work the way you think it should. Okay, so now what we want to do is when someone clicks on this image, we want to kind of increment a score and then also we want to make the mole go away. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, let's go on the image here. I'll say on click. We want to go ahead and just give it a callback function. And what this callback function is going to do is we're going to know what index we clicked. I'll just say IDX. And then we're going to go ahead and make a function maybe. I'll just say like function um, whack mole. Okay, and we're going to give it an index of a number. So what this is going to do, it's going to be very similar to this, where we make a new array. We're going to go ahead and change the index that the user clicked. We're going to set it to false. And then we're going to go ahead and update the moles with that new moles array. Okay. Now I talked about score. It'd be cool to kind of keep track of our score. So I'll say set score up here. Use state, make it equal zero. And then every time you, we whack a mole, uh, we can go ahead and just say, that score of score. Actually, in this case, this is a inside of a function that's going to be inside of an on click. So technically, you don't have to like do a callback function here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say on click whack mole of index. Does that make sense? So anytime user clicks on a image, call the whack mole function, which is going to set the index to false. It's going to give us plus one, and then it's going to refresh that moles array so that it shows the updated um, array and it should kind of go away. Now there are issues with this, which I'll address in a second, but let's test this out. Refresh the page, if I click these moles, they should go away. And then my score should increment as I'm doing this. But let's go ahead and display the score real quick. Um, above here, I could just go ahead and say like score and just interpolate that out. Okay. Um, in fact, I'm gonna put it above the grid. I'll put this in a fragment and uh, Score is going to be over there. So let's just go ahead and wrap this in H1. And uh, we could just kind of do some sloppy code here. Let's say text uh, align center. There. So as you're clicking these things, we are getting some mole scores, right? So the issue is if I click empty ones, I'm still getting a score going up, right? So we got to kind of fix that. And the way we do it is inside of a whack mole, we could say if moles of index, if it's not set to true, we're just going to go ahead and return. Just don't do anything if there's not a mole there, right? 
And now let's just refresh the page and uh, notice the moles are popping up. I click them, click them again. And uh, now I can't click random things. They have to actually have a mole there for my score to go up. All right, so the finishing touches to this game is typically the moles only stay up for like a second and then they should go away. So what we need to do is in this effect, we should probably do a timeout, which is going to make the mole go away. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, set timeout like this. And then we'll go ahead and say after, we'll say after half a second, we want to go ahead and like negate what we just did with that moles. Um, so we could potentially make another function um, called pop mole. And we'll say index, we'll do number, just so it's a little bit cleaner. And I might actually move these up here above the effect, so it's a little bit easier to understand. And when I say pop mole, I mean like that the mole pops their head up, right? And so how do we make it set to true? Well, we just do something very similar here. We take this code and we're gonna go ahead and just set it equal to true at that index and then update the moles, okay? So that allows us to clean this up. This is basically the identical code um, between these two things. So I'm gonna say pop mole, I'll say random index, okay? And then afterwards, we're just gonna go ahead and say hide mole and we're gonna give it that random index again. Now we don't have a hide mole, but it's gonna be very similar to whack mole. So let's just go ahead and make another function here called hide mole. And we are gonna go ahead and set it to false like we did before, but we don't wanna do the score stuff. We don't wanna do a score here. And we can actually reuse this a little bit. Okay, so now we have some, some function reuse between these, uh, except for the set score needs to still live inside of whack mole. So I'll say score plus one. <clears throat> All right, so let's check this out. Notice that the moles are not going back down after half a second. And this is where, if you know a little bit more about React, doing this type of logic is gonna cause some issues because we're modifying it here and then we're gonna to try to modify it again. But because of how closures work, we're gonna get an old array value. So it's not actually gonna hide correctly. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and just pass this a callback. I'll say current moles like this and then we're going to go ahead and do all this logic like that and instead of saying moles here which is going to be which might be a stale value we're going to go ahead and use current moles here and then i'm going to return new moles How about that and we kind of need to do the same logic for all these so i'll say curve moles is equal to um this will be the same thing but we want to hide it Okay, and then let's see if there's anywhere else that we should probably be doing, be doing that. Technically, I mean, you could do it here just to play it safe in case score were to be incremented somewhere else or decremented somewhere else. Let's see if this works now. <clears throat> okay, by the way, we are getting an issue with each child in the list should have a unique key. So we're gonna go down and just fix that real quick. We're gonna say key. And we're going to set it to IDX because in this case, I think it's fine to use the index. We're not sorting or filtering or doing anything with the actual array. So let's check this out. The mole should, should pop up. And I think we still have some more issues. I probably have stale values here, so I should probably just return curve moles if it's already set. Um, probably the same thing. Okay, I think pop mole is probably a terrible name for this. Let's just call it show mole. I don't know why I call it pop mole. That. Okay, now that I look at this code a little bit more, I don't think we need this line here. I'll probably delete that whole line um, and just make this hide mole, not check if it needs to be hidden or not. Um, just do it. All right, let's, let's see if this is working now. Sometimes I hate React. I think React is the most convoluted thing in the world. But hey. So now we got it. So let's go ahead and See if we can whack some of these moles. I can move fast enough. There we go. Got one. Got two. Okay, this feels a little fast. Like I can't even whack these moles. <laughs> let's move it to 700 and let's refresh and try again. All right, there we go.
Um, now a little bit of code cleanup looking through here. Let's just make sure we don't have any like bad logic. Technically these two are almost identical. Um, the only difference is like the value. So we could make a function instead that says like set mole visibility. And then I'll just go ahead and say like is visible and then I'll say Boolean. Okay. And then we could basically pass in the is, vis is visible there. And we don't need to do show or hide anymore. Okay, so what we could do, we could do this, set mole visibility, and I'll go ahead and say false. And then I will also do show visibility here, true. Um, hide mole, we'll say false. Okay, is that cleaner? I don't know, but maybe you guys can be the judge of that. All right, so that's that's basically it. I, I would bet money I probably have some type of bug that's related to this effect because I've been using React for a while and I still get caught up on effects and how confusing they are. But hope you guys like this little problem. Um, be sure to comment if you have any other example React challenges you want me to try doing on this channel. I'm always open to try smaller like beginner level React challenges. I think it's a good way to learn about React and learn about the intricacies of React. Um, give me a thumbs up. And also, I got a Discord channel. You guys are welcome to join if you just want to find a place to kind of reach out and ask questions or get help. Other than that, have a good day and happy coding.